uh, then move all of us to questions. Mm -hmm. Morning. I'd like to cast your minds back to May 1997 when the reigning world chess champion Gary Kasparov went head to head against IBM's Deep Blue in the ultimate battle of man versus machine. Within 20 moves of the deciding game, Kasparov knew he was heading for defeat, and as he raised his arms in resignation, the world held its breath. Artificial intelligence had arrived. Technology has been on a steady march ever since, and by now AI pervades our everyday lives. We have smartphones that talk to us. Websites that make recommendations according to our unique preferences. And very soon we'll have cars that drive themselves. So it's no surprise that technology should also take hold in education. After all, humans have been building teaching machines for over 100 years. But we're now at the tipping point in history, where web technologies fueled by artificial intelligence are accelerating the growth and potential of so-called intelligent tutors. Today's intelligent tutors are built to adapt. They identify and focus in on each child's individual learning needs. They pinpoint areas of struggle, provide instant feedback and rewards, and report progress back to parents and teachers in real time. They do this on demand at an unprecedented scale. Not bad for a piece of code. But intelligent tutors have a long way to go if they're to justify the label. And at Wiz Education, we're constantly challenging ourselves with the question of how we can bring more human levels of interaction between our virtual maths tutor and our students. And I'd like to share three ideas that we're exploring through an EU-funded research project called I Talk to Learn. The first is making sure that each child is appropriately challenged at every moment in their learning. We're sitting on a treasure trove of data that's being fed into sophisticated prediction models so that every lesson for every child is at just the right level. Not too difficult, not too easy, but that sweet spot in between. We're also looking at deeper content and pedagogy. Uh, today's intelligent tutors largely feed off structured learning tasks, the kinds that can be scored very easily by a computer and that can capture students' basic understanding of core skills and concepts. But we know there's so much more for learning, and so we've developed an exploratory learning environment. It's called Fractions Lab, and it gives students the freedom to play with fractions, to deepen their conceptual understanding, and to approach problem solving in a more open-ended and creative way. And lastly, we're using speech recognition to engage with students' emotions. Because an intelligent tutor has to go beyond what students know and also tap into how they feel. So if a child says, gosh, this is boring, we need to detect the underlying emotion and understand where it's coming from. Perhaps the child is frustrated that the lesson is too easy. Or maybe the animation just doesn't click. We need to engage that child in dialogue and respond to how they're feeling moment to moment. And that might mean changing the topic, slowing down the pace of instruction, or simply offering a few words of encouragement. In other words, connecting with the child on a human level. I talk to learn is edging technology closer towards human behaviors. And now we have to confront some unsettling questions. Like how far do we push artificial intelligence to do a human's job? Stephen Hawking believes that our pursuit of AI may spell the end of mankind. And Elon Musk worries that we may be summoning the devil himself. These are stark warnings from serious minds. Now, as far as intelligent tutors go, I wouldn't hit the panic button just yet because I don't think it's the virtual math tutor that will bring about our impending apocalypse. But it does raise perhaps the most important question of all. What does it mean for teachers? Every day at least, we see our teachers using our technology in new and powerful ways to enrich their learning environments and to deepen their connection with students. They flip their classroom, they blend their instruction, they do whatever it takes to deliver personalized learning experiences that every child deserves. And so I'm optimistic at what can be achieved when technology is in servitude of our human goals. The legacy of Deep Blue was that it actually inspired humans to embrace technology in furthering our own potential. And the best chess player on the planet today is not a machine, nor is it human. It's a hybrid team consisting of both human chess players and computers. And what sets such teams apart is not the individual mastery of, chess play of uh, humans or computers, but rather the ability of humans to collaborate with one another and understanding how to leverage technology to achieve the best combined performance. And I believe the same will be true of the best teachers of tomorrow. We're fortunate to live and work in a network world where ideas permeate the globe in the blink of an eye. And those teachers that harness that potential for collaboration and embrace the growing potential of intelligent tutors will lead the charge for personalized learning. And what could be more human than that? Thank you.